Hey YouTubers and welcome to a new series. I'm gonna look into Apache NiFi. What is Apache NiFi or Niagara Falls? So Apache NiFi was built to automate the flow of data between systems. Simple as that. While uh, data flow is used in a variety of contexts, we use it here to mean that uh, we pretty much automate the information transfer between system. So let's call it a huge pipeline that uh, Apache community provides us with. So I'm going to walk you guys through how we can install it, uh, the simple basic concepts, and there's a bunch of new features there that everybody's building on top of it. Uh, at the moment, Apache NiFi is one of the hottest um, projects in the Apache community, and everybody's looking towards it, and everybody's participating really strong on it so let's go ahead and see how we can download so first you guys gotta go to this website as you can see here it's uh, nifiapache.org and uh, we're gonna download the installer Apache runs on uh, Windows runs on Linux it has a graphical interface so you guys don't get scary it's not gonna be just command line so you, you get the chance to use a mouse so <laughs> That will be a plus for us. We're gonna download it and we get, we're gonna unzip it. There's a few basic changes that you guys gotta do in your configuration file, but I'm gonna walk you through it. It's it's pretty simple, so nothing to be scared of. All right. So first, what you're gonna do, you're gonna go to the uh, download at the top of your screen. There you go, and you're gonna see some releases. We're gonna choose the zip three, zip. Uh, we're gonna choose the latest release and the zip folder, and we're gonna download. As you guys can see, I've canceled it because I've already downloaded it before I started doing this uh, tutorial series. Obviously, this is a recorded video, and I'm talking on top of it. So if this is gonna be any uh, out of sync text or whatever phrases don't judge me for it all right so after you download it you're gonna unzip it and we're gonna go to uh, this folder here this is the folder structure and we're gonna get a bunch of uh, executables and first thing we're gonna do we're gonna change this file here so the configuration file there's three parameters that we're gonna, we're gonna change the banner this is optional if you want to use it I'm gonna use it so I'm gonna say AODBA NiFi server. You guys can call it whatever. Dishback server. <laughs> We're gonna change the port by default. It comes with 8080, but I'm using 8080 for another application, so I'm gonna ch change it to 9090. This is the everybody's using this in NiFi, so I'm gonna do the same. Next thing we're going to do is the uh, secret key. This is something that we'll discuss further on when we're going to get into security. But at this moment, just give it a value. It can be even this one. Don't mind my screen cam recorder. Next thing what we're going to do, we're going to make sure that our Java pad is installed. So if you guys have Windows 8, follow this. If I'm going too fast, you guys can pause, go back, and uh, watch it again. As you can see, I don't have any Java path variable. NiFi will look will look for the Java path variable in your system. So make sure you, if you don't have it, you create one, or you check if you have one. So it's pretty much like this. You just create a new variable. Uh, you call it Java path, and uh, you go to the directory where you have your Java install. In my case is this one so I'm just gonna copy the Java home full path and I'm gonna paste it in all right press ok press ok so we have our Java path variable created and we already have Java installed on our Windows machine sorry for the trails of the the screen this uh, cam studio it's free and it's not that good so sorry if sometimes it's blinking all right so we just started NiFi if you wanna let's say debug it or to see why what's happening if it's going so fast 
you can put a pause in your script and you can see it the message says NiFi it's up and running uh, so to start a NiFi the NiFi it's pretty much um, the bin directory of your NiFi and unzip and you got the uh, run NiFi for dot uh, bat file you just double click on it or click right and execute it as administrator and NiFi will start pretty much uh, now type in the localhost uh, uh, dash uh, 9090 slash NiFi and NiFi it's up and running guys as you can see that's it NiFi it's up and running as simple as that so that's what Apache likes to do it's simple thing so you guys can see my banner is there on my dashboard uh, we can zoom in zoom out a bit with the browser but in the same time we have this capability in the um, designing dashboard here that you guys can see this is, these are some options here that we're gonna go over in the future tutorials zoom in zoom out and this is the uh, layout that you manage your um, working sheet let's say processors input ports uh, output ports uh, processes groups and all these buttons that you guys can see here funneling um, we're gonna we're gonna discuss them one by one in future tutorials and here you have the um, you got some indicators that how many processors run so right now I'm gonna walk you to the concept of processors in NiFi so the processor is a bunch of stuff that pretty much what you want him to do so we're gonna take one processor as a simple demo it's a generate workflow generate data flow actually sorry and uh, you click to configure it you got all these options so you click configure and um, here you got all types of options so we're gonna what we're gonna choose right now it's uh, so this one is gonna be time driven meaning like how time driven it's uh, to say how often do you want him to run so we're gonna say okay execute uh, every as you hear here you see here you gotta run second schedule uh file size the file size that he's gonna generate we're gonna choose one kilobyte um, and what type of data he'll generate binary or text we're gonna choose text for the purpose of this demo all right this is your you can put some description of the processor what he's doing what's the purpose of it and that's it it's pretty much there's no save uh, bottom next one what we're gonna do with the wolf the flow we're gonna dump it on your local system and we're gonna use the processor called put file this pretty much will write whatever comes from the flow generator into into this file on our local system so here you got a bunch of options we're gonna walk through it one by one so this is gonna be the directory where he's gonna create the files so you gotta give him a path uh, I already have a demo directory created it's in my C drive and I'm gonna give it this path and say write it to C drive uh, I'm gonna we're gonna leave this option as fail and if there's no directory created which is not gonna be the case because the directory is already created here you want to terminate a process in case of failure and in case of success because this is our last step our process has to terminate next thing to link them just drag the line across it and say what's the relationship on success of the first generate flow file action the second one which is put file and that's it when uh, you see those green squares that means everything is in order and we can kickstart the um, there you go on success if we if we shut it down we got all these options but we're gonna talk about it in the future as you can see you cannot change the success relationship so now if we run it it just click right and you got start or you got or you got in this uh, left hand side where you can start it after you select it stop it uh, you can give it a color that you want so you can identify it better as you can see we got one running here this is the overall panel in one stop which is the put file the put file pretty much if, we, if you refresh you can see there's already a queue added there 
and if we looked at the file that with the folder that we just created there's nothing yet because uh, of all the data it's in the queue and if we start a put file now we're gonna refresh it there's nothing in the queue because he's already starting writing files on the local system and uh, if we refresh demo folder it's already getting populated content of the files for whatever reason my cam studio stop start blinking so if you guys have any idea why he's doing that drop me a message or a text or something like that and uh, these are more details about the um, data flow information pretty much every file that is generated comes with uh, some logs and you can see the data, data lineage of it like where is it come this is really useful for analysts that try to identify where is the data coming from when you have a huge data flow you know this is just the basics so nothing to be scared too much scary about but when you have a huge one so if we stop the put file and we refresh we can see that there's a queue generated there even if we stop the generate flow file the queue data is still in the queue there so if one of the two components stops data is not lost you know so it ensures you it, it allows you to not lose that data. as you guys can see this is what I have in my queue if you lose one processors you can and uh, you can either download it you can look at the data for whatever reason still blinking this bastard you can download it as a file and attach it to a new processors or it, uh, you can dump it on your local system this is very useful when you work with uh, data flows you know because you break out that dependency you know between them and uh, yeah, we can look at the status of it now we clean up the the queue and we dump it into the put file again location you can look at the history status these are some um, basic reports on top of the process and the workloads that he's uh, as you guys can see by its rate for five minutes all of this in details they will make sense per as per their description you know the bottom one is the number of files the, the bottom top is the number of bytes so um, the average duration task duration you can if you go down you can even zoom on it sorry about it um all right yep you can even zoom in the top one will zoom as well so yeah that's about it guys the first tutorial on iFi with installation and uh, how we can use the basics one as you can see if you click right